Deep in space lies Superhero School. Its next student is boldly going to learn what no other superhero has learned before. Yes, this is the story of Maths Man. For the life of man, it's Maths Man. Today, I have traveled from the outer reaches of the known galaxy. And I'm really hungry. Maths Man? I'm afraid there's no eating in your learning pod with your intergalactic interactive learning screen. But your holiness, I've just flown six million light years. I mean, can't I just... No! <laughs> rules are rules. Now, you can have it back at the end of the lesson, which today is thirds and sixths. I think I know how many equal parts are in thirds and sixths. Do you? Let the training commence. Zap me a shape, any shape you like. Oh, a square. I like it. Now, I want you... To work out what fraction of the shape is coloured in. It's OK. I know what I'm doing. I start with my dividing line. And now for the bottom number. That's the denominator. How many equal parts can you find right this under the dividing line? Well, there are one, two, three. So there it goes. Now for the top number. That's the numerator. The rhyme goes, how many parts do we want this time? Write this number above the line. Well, it's the coloured part that we want this time. And there is one. So the one goes above. So the answer is one out of three or one third. Very impressive, maths man. Let's move on to the next fraction. Hang on, that's thirds again. Patience, I haven't finished yet. There. You know what to do. Mm -hmm. The bottom number. How many equal parts can you find? Write this under the dividing line. Well, there are one, two, three, four, five, six. The top number. How many parts do we want this time? Write this number above the line. Well, I make it one, two. So the two goes above the line. So that's two out of six or two-sixths. But daring denominators, I think I've seen that fraction somewhere before. It looks just like one-third. <laughs> Your powers of observation are increasing. You're quite right. The two fractions are the same. Here's a tongue twister. Square shapes splitting into sixths. Must be time for dancing shapes. Call out the fractions you see when the dancing stops. One sixth and five sixths. Three sixths and three sixths. Two sixths and four sixths. Now, maths man, a riddle. What's yellow and red and shakes like a leaf? I don't know. What is yellow and red and shakes like a leaf? You, when you realise you're standing on the fraction number line tightrope. <gasps> I'm sorry, maths man. I couldn't resist that one. Now, you know what to do. The end nearest you is zero and the other end is one. See what happens when you walk the tightrope. Daring denominators. Can you work out what will happen? One third. That was a big gap. Third. That was a big gap as well. I wonder, does that mean thirds are big or small fractions? One. Oh, and one is the same as three thirds. Finished. Sadly not. Back to the beginning. And this time when you walk... Don't tell me the sixths are going to drop. One sixth. Two sixths, 
three sixths, four sixths, five sixths, one or six sixths. Well done, maths man. Here's another riddle. What is pink and silver and cool as a cucumber? I don't know. Colin Cool, of course. It's time to find the fraction. B -b find the fraction. <laughs> Hi, Colin Cool's the name. Fraction to the game on today's Find the Fraction. Okay, we've got the blues, we have the red, and we have the question. So let's play Find the Fraction. <laughs> <laughs> now. The team that gets the most questions right will go on to play the Find the Fraction physical challenge. Look to your monitors, question number one. Some of this pizza has been eaten. Roughly, how much of it is left? Is it A, one-third, B, two-thirds, or C, one-half? Make your choice and find the fraction. And time's up, and both teams have answered B. The correct answer is... B! Give yourselves two points. Okay. Now look to your monitors. Question number two. There are six carriages on this train. What fraction, what fraction are in the tunnel? Is it A, four-sixths? Is it B, one-sixth? Or C, five-sixths? Make your choice and find the fraction. And time's up. And both teams have said C. The correct answer is C, because five of the six carriages are still in the tunnel. Now, look to your monitors. Question number three. This bar of chocolate has 12 blocks. If I was to eat two-thirds of the bar, how many blocks would I eat? Would it be A, eight, B, six, or C, four? Make your choice and find the fraction. And time's up. Now the blue team have said the answer is B, and the red team have said the answer is A. The correct answer is A. Give yourselves two points. Now this sound means we've run out of time. Let's have a look at the final scores. The blue team have scored a magnificent four points. But this week's winners with six points are the red team. Come and join me for the final fraction of the challenge. Challenge. Now, Ayakumi, your job is to find the third blocks and the sixth blocks hidden within the balloons. And Salmaz, your job is to build a fraction wall with them. Can they do it? Let's find out as we find the fraction. Today, the red team are looking for three third blocks and six sixth blocks. And time's up! <laughs> Come and join me. Didn't they build well? Let's have a look at your fraction wall. We have three thirds, that makes one whole. And we have six six, that makes one whole too. Congratulations! You've built the perfect third and sixth fraction wall. <laughs> but sadly, we've run out of time. Never mind, we'll see you next time on Find the Fraction. <laughs> I trust you enjoyed that, maths man. Maths man, you're not eating, are you? Mm, I just hope not. Let's move on. Let's have a look at some sixths. It's time for Sports Stand. Sports Stand! Hello. Hello. Welcome to Sports Stand. I'm Sue Harker. And I'm Harry Hanson. And this week, it's my favourite sport, Football. Why? The spectacular goals. No, Susie. The spectacular fractions. Football. Game of two halves. No quarter given. And take this amazing match from 1970 FA Cup clash between Leeds United and non-league Sutton, which Leeds won 6-0. Let's take a look at those goals. 
Hunter. And here's the first goal. Clark. Oh, what a magnificent header. Yeah, but if I could just stop you there, Sue, <laughs> let me explain. You see, all six goals make up the whole, the whole. And this being the first goal out of the six makes it one six of the total score. So on to the second goal. And it's a good ball through. Oh, lucky shot from Lorimer. What a mistake from the keeper. But more importantly, Susie, what a fraction. Because it's the second goal out of the six and that makes it two sixths of the total score. OK, OK, well, on to the third goal. What spectacular action. Actually, <laughs> it's a spectacular fraction because it's the third goal out of the six. That makes it three six, three six of the total score line. And, and three six is exactly the same as a half. That makes it half of the total number of goals scored. Could we please keep to the football? OK. Lorimer. Goal number four. Clark. Great shot. And again. Four six. Clark's there. Goal number five. Well Spectacular Lama. dummy. Oh, he wanted too much time, did he now? Five six. Down, the defence is too, there's Clark. And what about goal number six? Rifled Makes it in. a terrific six out of six. Six, six wonderful Leeds. goals for Leeds. Six marvellous fractions for us. Fractions. <laughs> Fractions. Well, Fractions. Uh, that's it from Sports Stand Fractions. for this week. Don't forget to tune in again next time. Yeah. Goodbye. Sports Stand. Fractions are coming home. Three six of the score. It's up in the air. He's above the defender. Oh, it's a goal for Matsman. Did you perchance enjoy that? Did I? I mean, Earth football is the best sport in the galaxy. Which team do you support? Middlesbrough. Come on, Borough. Come on, Borough. Oh, well, let's use that superhero imagination of yours. Let's imagine your team, Borough, have somehow managed to win the Cup 12-0. Your centre forward, Freddie Fraction Man, has scored two-thirds of the goals. So, how many goals has he scored? That's not difficult to imagine, actually. Uh, right, so you want me to find two-thirds of 12. Exactly. Now move aside, I'm going to turn the 12 into something a little easier. 12 balls. OK, I can take over now. First, I need my fraction wall split into thirds. And now to split the 12 into three equal parts. So, one third of 12 is four and two thirds of 12 are eight. So Freddy Fraction Man scored eight of the goals. Who scored the other four? Don't get carried away. It never really happened. So, to find a third of 12, we can split the 12 into three equal parts or put the 12 into three equal groups. And that's exactly the same as dividing the 12 by three. So to find one third of a number, I divide by three. Exactly. Come and have a go at this. No problem, with some help from my fraction friends. One third of nine. One third of nine. That's nine divided by three, and nine divided by three equals three. So one third of nine is three. Well done, maths man. Now, let's... Oh. Excuse me a second. Yes, what? The diddler? Where? Children? Picnic basket? Rain? That diddling diddler's diddling again. Have no fear, children of the earth. Matt's man is on his way. It started to rain. Me too. I know. How 
How about we have our picnic inside? Oh yeah, what a good idea. Go on. Oh no, it's empty. Here's a note. It says, if I was to offer you a piece of your crumble, which piece would be the largest? One half, two quarters or two thirds? Get this right, then you'll get your picnic back. How are we going to work this out? What we need is another crumble. No, what we need is... Mouse Man! Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it, it's Mouse Man. Come in. Ready to build and split whole numbers into parts of numbers other superheroes cannot reach. Greetings, Earth children. What seems to be the problem? We need to work out which fraction is the biggest. One half, two quarters or two thirds. Then we'll get our picnic back. Daring denominators. What a dastardly diddle. I think we'll need to take a closer look at this. Stand back, children. Right, there's our crumble, and the first fraction is a half. We know what a half is. That's two equal parts. OK, so crumble number two. The next fraction is two quarters. That's four equal parts, and we want two of them. Hey, two quarters looks the same as a half. Yeah, you're right. Well, let's look at our third crumble and see if that fraction is bigger or smaller than a half. Right, there's the crumble, and we want two-thirds of it. So we need to cut it into three equal parts, and we want two of those parts. Looks like two-thirds is the biggest. Fabulous fractions, you're right. Two-thirds is the biggest fraction. Is this your picnic basket? Yes, it is. Thanks, Mouse Man. No problem. Hey, why don't you join us? Oh, do you know, I'd love to. Oh, I've got to get back to class. You know, a superhero's work is never done. Enjoy your picnic. And remember, when you don't understand and you need a hand, who are you going to call? Mouse Man. Oh. Congratulations, Maths Man. Another mission successfully completed and another set of fractions passed. It gives me great pleasure to award you with your thirds and sixth medals. Oh, thanks. Please, Your Holiness, can I have my apple back? No, but you can have one of mine. <laughs> Off you go, Maths Man. Uh, excuse me, where do you think you're going? I have one last question for you. We know how to find a third of a number. We simply divide by three. So, how do you think we find a sixth of a number? If you think you know, have a practice with some numbers. Until next time, bye. <laughs> It's not fun.